I'm sick and tired of walking up the steps out of breath. And that's why I'm gonna give you one of the best cardio workouts for meatheads. And we're gonna start right now. So meatheads love to lift weights, right? That's the whole point here is that we love lifting all the time. And the problem is we don't want to do any type of cardio because we think we're gonna get pathetically weak. We think we're gonna go back in time to that time when we were in sixth, seventh grade and we're just horribly incapable of moving any load when we're talking about resistance training. So one of the biggest things that I've found with myself personally, because I have all these same demons, is that if I can do a little bit of a lift early on in my workout at a little bit of a faster pace, okay? So go in, warm up. Let's say I do back squats, set of six, seven, and I get down right away, bust out some V-ups. And for me, even if I'm just doing 10, for me, V-ups is a way of my stomach feels a little bit, like a little bit of tension. Like, oh, okay, getting a little bit of that cardio in. Now, the key factor here, once I feel that, I wanna load the bar and get right back into it, okay? So let's say I do 70 kilos, then I'm gonna hit 110 kilos. So let's do a set of five here, and it's keeping it moving, because remember, Meatheads don't like to just go, go, go. We wanna take these long breaks, have philosophical discussions, try to solve all the world's problems. I'll just do a set of four. Okay, so I'll go right back to the V up, hit a set of 10, and I'm already out of breath. And my big thing is, I wanna get right back into it. One more round. And you can do this for yourself based off of like where you feel comfortable, okay? So a lot of people might struggle with only squatting up to 150 kilos. Some people might wanna go up to 180. But for the video, the fact that I'm already fatigued means I'm just gonna squat this for a set of three or four, and I'm gonna get right back into the V-ups, and we're gonna cut it, and we're gonna go into that next exercise, but we've gotta keep it moving. I'm already stalling. Okay, so nice triple. One more down in the V-ups. This is that first key pairing. When you're a meathead and you're trying to hit some cardio. Oh, oh gosh. All right, so the next favorite thing that I like to do is I want to get on the assault bike and remember when we're meatheads, all we want to do is lift. We want to do everything as heavy or as hard as possible. So one of the things I like to do is I want to get a measurable factor back when I'm doing cardio. So if I'm doing a salt bike, I can see, all right, how many calories have I burned? If I can see that I burned 20 calories, I get a little more motivated. But I also want to sit there and say, I want to get a good quad pump. I want to feel strong. And I like getting sweaty because then I feel like I've actually done something. Now I'm out of breath. So I go 20 calories as fast as I can. My quads are dying. I'm out of breath. Then I go two lengths with a sled. My lungs feel like they're on fire. Oh my God. So, 20 cals on the assault bike, hit the sled pull down and back, rest about a minute and a half. You only have to do that about four times. You'll feel good, you'll get that good cardio done, and you're gonna feel a little bit healthier when you're done this pairing, and I'm dead. Uh, all right, so my next favorite cardio movement or exercise is gonna be the rower. Now, 
I actually really like doing a rower after a day after a heavy deadlift. The reason being is that I really feel like it helps mobilize my hips and lower back and it just loosens everything up by the end of the day then. So if I do heavy deads the day before, heavy back squats, do this the day after, okay? But we just did the assault bike, the sled, and we'd done our back squats, so I feel pretty good. Usually what I like to do is play some type of game. So I'm either gonna go where I wanna row at a 500 meter clip as quickly as I can. My best 500 meters is 121, okay? So I'll go as hard as I can to get under 130. If I don't feel that good, I don't have a lot of pop, another simple thing you can do, set a five minute timer, okay? You get on here five minutes, and then each week that you're on this system, on this program, you just increase. So then next week you're at seven minutes. Following week you're at nine. By week four, you're sitting there, you're at 11, 12 minutes, nice and easy, and you don't have to focus on just ripping as fast as possible. So I know my rowing technique is not the best, but I do get a good quad pump, good mobility in the hips, and I like to superset this. Okay, so I'll finish up. Let's say I try to stall, waste a little time because I'm a baby, and I get right into jump lunges. So what I'm looking for is to get my heart rate up from the rower, then get my posterior chain engaged, make my glutes, my hamstrings a little bit more fatigued. I wanna do 50 straight. So 25 on each leg. Ooh. my quads and my abs, ah! Okay, so we finished up rower and the jump lunges, jump lunges destroyed me. Big question is, as a meathead, how often should we be doing this, right? And I think that varies. I think at least once a week, we're doing heavy lifts and stuff. Get in and do a little bit of cardio. Go on the rower, do some easier squats with that V-up tempo. You do that once a week, you're gonna feel healthy, you're gonna feel strong, you're gonna feel good. I think as we age, you know, I'm 37. As I'm getting older, I have my kids, and I realize like, wow, I don't really need to push my ego as much. What I wanna do is I wanna try and do something like this twice a week. And oftentimes, if I'm even just sitting around, I might get on the rower and hit that rower for 10 minutes just to feel better from an aerobic perspective, because I know that I got the anaerobic part taken care of. I also think that Bigger dudes that are meatheads, we gotta start walking more. We gotta start hitting like 10 to 12,000 steps every single day. We gotta start eating a little bit cleaner. Eat your vegetables! And get in the sauna four to five times a week as well. That's all stuff that's gonna contribute to us being a little bit healthier and having a longer sustained life. Okay, so I think that those are some key tips. But to finish off this workout, I like to do one of two things. If I do the kettlebell swing, I wanna hit it for like a set of 40, or because I just did those 50 jump lunges, I'm just gonna hit this for a nice set of 20, and then I might rest, you know, sit down, rest for another minute, come back for another set of 20. The hardest part when we're doing cardio as giant meatheads is that we're so accustomed to taking long periods of breaks, okay? Long rest periods, because we wanna argue about politics, religion, <laughs> everything that meatheads love to argue about. So keep your rest short and put a timer on. Get out your cell phone, get your timer rolling. You're gonna learn that in a span of 40 minutes, you can get a lot of work done and it's actually gonna help you become an even bigger meathead because you're recovering a bit better. So if you need help with a program, you want something that you can go on, you can get some good simulation from strength and get a decent cardio work in, click on the link down below, go to garagestrength.com, you can pick up our ghost face program. It's the program that I use every single month to try and improve my strength while increasing my life longevity so I can be healthier long-term for my kids. If you want more information about training as an old man, click on this card right here. Until next time guys, peace.